What is going on, guys? It's you here, bringing you another review slash reaction on Fairy Tale One Hundred Year Quest. And as I'm catching up this week, I honestly wasn't expecting this chapter to have come out uh, last week, but I I enjoyed it. Honestly, uh, first I want to say that I think it was an enjoyable chapter. At times, um, it was weird how the geography of the place that they were uh, was very strange and unique and what it actually turned out to be uh seeing juvia personally was very happy for me but let's go ahead and get right into it so we start off the chapter with juvia as you guys remember she surprised gray and and the gang with her arrival there and it was just really awkward like i think someone commented on my previous uh review that they thought maybe it could be toka you know that is honestly a possibility I never thought of it like Toa could have easily infiltrated but I also thought well if it was Toka you know why would she want to dress up as Juvia if she wants to be with Natsu you know to me just it was a good thought but I don't think that would have been the case you know but uh when everyone sees her they ask about the guild and she actually kind of like stutters or uh, not really started, but uh, doesn't really give a concise answer. It wasn't very uh, convincing, and it almost seemed like something was up. Like as the reader, of course, you know something is up. Uh, but you know the kind of proceeding Juvia seems a bit different to Gray. Uh, she seems to be caring. Obviously, you know she ha she sounds the same when she's talking about you know Lucy. You know, she sees Lucy as a love rival. Uh, her her great R is going off and you know it kind of typical uh, Juvia spiel to put it like that you know nothing out of the sorts uh, but they can't because of the contract that they've made they can't actually you know have Juvia there uh, it is a bit unfortunate I think and I wish Juvia could join but I guess this story is going to mostly have them five of course Carla and the happy as well uh, them being the main focus the strongest group of fairy tale i guess you could say between the, these these guys and not having juvia kind of sucks but while they're talking and you know, juvia says that she'll leave they enjoy themselves uh, a little too much you know, especially you not to getting kicked out you know it was kind of like a little party since they have arrived where they needed to be uh but when juvia actually starts saying you know as once once again starts talking about the guild she actually says you know kind of like she had woken up in a daze like be careful of the white mage and then like with a whole like scary ass face and she actually faints giving gray a scare and everyone else but they realize once that where they're at the geography of the land was already weird as it was but they noticed that it was a land and there was a lot of like shaking and they come to realize that that was an ass shape of a hand and the person that they were looking for the wood got the the wood god dragon i don't want to say water god dragon the wood god dragon uh ardalon or something like that is actually revealing himself and this is a huge ass beast like probably one of the biggest they had probably ever seen and it was really funny to see the very well not funny but like we see the reaction of Natsu saying like, I heard it was he was big but this this is huge like they weren't even expecting having you know to face off this kind of person and it's weird because the villagers also like the way they're reacting towards you know the shaking and all that it's like they're used to it so does this mean that this dragon has been here for quite a while uh, is it that you know they've kind of had a kind of like a similar situation with the previous with the water god dragon you know where he was kind of coexisting with the people could he be that he's a peaceful one you know it's all these possibilities you know and then why did juvia like react the way that she did you know like she snapped out of it and then like went into like a coma like it looked like she was really trying to fight like what happened at the guild which i would have loved to have seen what actually had happened now we have to wait well at this point a week to find out what happened to everyone else in the guild or at least hope that we know what's going on but i definitely have a lot more questions with what happened with juvia how she even got there 
you know could it be that toka actually sent her there uh you know it, there's a lot of possibilities and then with this this dragon revealing himself are they going to try to take him head on or are they going to try to do what they did previously with the other dragon so like i said a lot of more questions are starting to be you know raised in my opinion and uh it's it's getting an interesting story like i think that having to find all these dragons and you know trying to i guess figure a way to peacefully have them either stop doing what they're doing or just you know finding a way i think that's really cool but guys that is it for me hope you guys have enjoyed let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and as always guys stay safe take care of yourselves and others and i'll catch you later <laughs>